This explains how programming assignments are graded. It is important that you understand the grading process so that you are not surprised. This is a large class with 400 students. There are 20 programming assignments. To handle this large volume of grading, everything is automated. Before explaining how programming assignments are graded, please understand that everyone wants you to get an A. Everyone, including the instructor, the teaching assistants, and your classmates, all wish you well. Please help everyone. In fall 2020, due to the uncertainty of the coronavirus, additional flexibility is added. There will be 20 homework assignments available. You can decide which one to skip. You do not need to inform the instructor if you decide to skip any particular assignment. Each homework assignment is worth 5 points. There will be 4 take-home exams. Each exam is worth 10 points. This class adopts absolute grading. Your grade depends on your own performance. This class does not have the policy that certain percentage of students must receive a particular grade. If everyone does well, everyone can receive A. This has never happened in history though. Is it possible that nobody in the class receive A because the homework assignments and the exams are too difficult? That has never happened. This class has been offered for several decades. Many thousand students have taken this class. The instructor has taught more than 3,000 students. This class is very well organized. Do not worry about this class organization. Again, due to the uncertainty of the coronavirus, this class has a special channel to handle exceptional situations. You can submit a grade request and you will receive the grade you wish to receive. All the flexibility is intended to help you learn in a friendly and accommodative environment. The programming assignments will be graded by computer programs. Some test cases will be provided to you. Some additional test cases may be used for grading. Please understand that correct outputs are only parts of the scores. The grading programs also inspect your submitted programs for GCC warnings and memory leaks. GCC warnings are almost always indications of mistakes. There have been numerous cases when mistakes are detected by GCC. Thus, this course requires that no GCC warnings are allowed. No human being will sit in front of a computer reading your code. No human beings will enter anything on a keyboard. No human beings will read the outputs on a computer screen. Your programs must not have any unwanted messages. Unwanted messages will be treated as mistakes. Your code should always been enclosed by FDEF and ENDIF. This allows the grading program to replace your code by a reference solution, in case your code does not work. Each programming assignment will have several pairs of IFDEF and ENDIF. They allow different parts of your programs be graded separately. By using this structure, if there is a problem in this particular part of your code, this part can be replaced by the reference solution so that other parts can be graded. This class will give as many partial credits as possible. However, there are situations when partial credits are not possible. Here are some situations when it is not possible giving any point. The first situation is when you do not submit anything. The second situation is when you do not submit all needed files. If a file is missing, it may be impossible to build and grade your program. Another situation is when your submission cannot compile to build an executable program. In some cases, certain parts of given files must not be modified. These parts will be clearly marked. 
If you modify these parts, it is very likely that your submission cannot compile to build an executable program. Also, if you add something outside pairs of IFDEF and ENDIF, then it is possible that your submission cannot compile to build an executable program. In this class, your scores depend on only what you submit. Your scores do not depend on anything else. Your scores do not depend on any of the following factors because they cannot be objectively measured. Your scores do not depend on what is stored in your computer. You must submit homework assignments. Your scores do not depend on how much time you spend on this course because this information cannot be measured. Nobody can go to your house, stand next to you, and measure how much time you spend on this course. Your scores do not depend on how much you love this course because, unfortunately, love cannot be objectively measured. In the past, some students used these reasons. It is not possible to see what is stored in your computer for grading. It is also not possible to make any change to what you have submitted. Your scores depend on what you submit, nothing else. Your time is precious. Thus, please use time wisely. Here are two possible cases. One student spends seven hours on one homework assignment. However, this student was in a rush in submission and spends only 30 seconds. During this rush, the student forgets to include one needed file. As a result, this student receives zero in this assignment. Then, this student spends several hours sending emails to the instructor, the department head, the dean, the provost, and the university president asking for more points. Because this is the student's mistake, the student's score is unchanged and still zero. The second student spends a few minutes carefully checking all needed files are submitted correctly. This student receives a high score. Overall, this student saves a lot of time. Which one do you want to be? Please understand that everyone wants you to get an A. Please help everyone.